Yo, 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 another day, another dollar with your homeboy, Jermaine. I am, uh, I'm indoors. It is chilly outside right now. I don't know if this is a good idea to go live right now. I think there's like a basketball game on or something. But I know all of my subscribers aren't basketball fans, so I can still go live, right? Yo, what up, rubber band? Mm hmm right on what's up y'all what's going on I knew I would have some folks up in the live stream yeah I knew I knew people would be around I don't know what I was thinking it's not like it's the ending of the game yeah it is freaking cold out there man Let's talk about my Robinhood account. Oh, well, let's talk about that. So, yesterday, I didn't even put this in the vlog, but like yesterday, um, I bought like eight shares of Tesla in the morning, and Tesla's share price went up just a little bit. I made like $45, and then I, um, I sold the shares at the end of the day. This morning when I woke up, first thing I did was check the Robinhood account, check the Robinhood app to see like where the market was. Well, earlier this morning, the market was doing okay. Like Tesla was up like at another all time high. It was at $375. And I was watching, I was thinking, no, let's not jump into it. Let's not jump into it. So the day went on, the day went on and I saw Tesla starting to dip and I was thinking, dude, Tesla is about to have a day. Like it's gonna, it's gonna the shares are gonna drop today. So I didn't in, um, I didn't buy any shares of Tesla, and I sat around and watched Tesla drop about 5%. No, not 5%. It was like, I think 3.5% or something like that. Was that you was just zipping by on Lower Hate and the Boost? That was me on Lower Hate and the Boosted Board about 30 minutes ago. Yep, that was definitely me. I was um, actually shooting a video. Um, that's why I was... Out zipping, and that's part of the reason why I'm back at WeWork now because my boosted boards did. And there was this uh, this place over in Oakland I want to go grab some food at, and I kind of need the board charged so I can get there without taking an Uber. So yeah, another day, another peso. I like that one. That's a trip. You just saw me zipping by a minute ago. Yo, if you guys are watching this live stream right now and you want to see more live streams, give your homeboy Jermaine a thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Two things right now, a live stream and the baseball game. Oh man, I, I, is it a bad idea to, to go live stream during the, the basketball game? Cool things, what up, what up? Uh, you in my street again, you better say hi. Yeah, I'm over here, I'm back in, the, I'm back in Frisco. I'm thinking about saving for a boosted board. Oh, Dude, it, it, the, the boosted board has definitely changed the way I get around the city. Like, it has definitely did that. I really like the purchase. And in a few more weeks, well not a few more weeks, but maybe in like two more months, it's gonna actually pay for itself. So, that's gonna be really cool too. I mean, I've saved so much money on Ubers and stuff. And then with the bike, like, I, of course I could've rode the bike, but the bike is more of a hassle because you have to, you know, you have, it's a different, it's different maintenance on a bike, you know? I have to make sure I lock up the, the wheels and the tires and all that. And with this, I can just take it indoors. So it works out really, really, really good. NYC in the house. What up, New York? What is the, what is the weather like over there right now? Lots of people have blink board here at NYC. Yeah, the blink board is pretty popular, but... Um, it really depends on what you're doing with, 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 with your longboard. If you are cruising across a very, very smooth college campus, you can get away with a blink board. A lot of those streets, or if you're on a flat surface like a bike trail, um, that could be a pretty, uh, maybe not so bad, but if you're going over like bumps and stuff, like if you're taking it like on the actual street, um, it might be a better idea to have a, uh, like a boosted board or something with something that can hold um, 
Something that can hold up a little bit better. I wouldn't trust the blink board on a lot of these streets around here. Actually, I definitely wouldn't trust the, the blink board. Do you still have an electric bike in the garage? I, I forgot the name of it. Yeah, I still do have the electric bike. Um, I really haven't had a reason to get the electric bike, so they still have it and they're holding it there for me. It's gorgeous weather in NYC, no humidity. It's like 68, man. It is freezing outside right now. It's not freezing like 30 degrees, but it's just windy. And as soon as that wind hits you, it's like cold. That's why I am. That's why I got my jacket on right now. It's just cold in this room, by the way. Couldn't get away with a blink board. Here, here I am. The streets be jacked up on my job. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's um, <laughs> a lot of these streets. You need like bigger wheels on a on a on a skateboard. I forget, but there's another skateboard. I think it's called a Rapture or something like that. It has huge wheels. It would be perfect for some of these San Francisco streets. Is Airbnb cheaper than traditional rent? Well, in my case, Airbnb is, is cheaper than traditional rent because like, I, th I think when I'm in the Bay, I get a lot of questions about Airbnb, but I, I think it's a whole lot cheaper. Let me give you this example. Like, let's say if I rented a room here in Frisco, it would be, um, I would pay, you know, maybe $1,200 or $1,400, okay? Let's say, I, let's say I want to go out of town for a week. Well, I would still have to pay that, you know? Now, if I live in an Airbnb, I can go out of town for a week or two weeks or a month, and I don't have to pay for that. So, that is, that's the difference. Like, it works out for me, and also, like, I... I get a lot of points in my credit card, and then also I get um, like Airbnb, like these little credits. There's, there's a lot of other things. Um, and Airbnb works out for me right now. Oh, let's see. Tried to catch up with you, do, but you were going so fast. Were you on a bike? Because if you're on a bike, like, dude, bikes can, it's gonna be really difficult for a bike to catch a booster board. Especially if it's freaking windy outside. And it is crazy windy out there right now. How long have you been on the booster board? I don't know. I've been on the booster board for three weeks. No, about four weeks now. No, three weeks. And I've put 100 and I think 110 miles are on the booster board right now, which is crazy if you think about it. What up, Alex? Dang, I'm like skipping right by you. This weekend is going to be hot in the 90s, dude. Yeah, that, that is going to be pretty dang hot. How much does Jermaine make a month? Next question. Alex Escobar. Yeah, what up, Alex? What up, Terrence? You up in the house. Um, screen the game. We are playing chess. Of, oh, I see. Where did you find a charger okay so where did i find the charger at a boosted for the booster board remote i went to a hardware store and they had these like really really old school like three pong chargers one was for the remember the old iphone charger the long one it had that on there it had the old usb and then it had the micro usb that's where i was able to find it you can rent a room in SF for 600 Yeah, I don't know anything about that. Hey, Jermaine, when is your birthday? My birthday is in January. Did you watch Heather's recent video? Yeah, I did watch Heather's video. We talked on the phone about um, the crash a lot. I always tell people, well, this is what I do. If I'm on my boosted board and if I see a dog running towards me, I'm not slowing down. That's, that's just the thing, like, I'm not slowing down. I will hit the freaking dog. Me as a vegan, I will hit that freaking dog. And if, if, if the dog makes me fall, that's a whole nother story, especially if it's off of a leash. That's a whole nother story. Um, but yeah, like, I'm gonna speed up. I'm not going to slow down for a dog. I mean, I'm just gonna <laughs> cruise. Um, Kelsey passed Jermaine on the boosted board. Kelsey did pass me, but once again, I was in, um, I wasn't in the fast mode. I was in a slow mode. 
if I would have been in expert mode, I would have definitely passed her. She probably would have caught up with me, like towards the ending of the block. But let me just give you this example. If we were on a straightaway path, I would probably smoke her just because, you know, taking off like I would pass her, but she would possibly catch back up with me. But if we're doing this for like a mile, believe me, I'm going to pass her. Like eventually, like I'm going to pass her because she's going to get tired and I'm not going to get tired. I'm just controlling the thing with my, you know, two fingers. Um, let's see. Hey Jermaine, what does the volume mean against the stock in the market? The volume, the volume means the amount of shares that are being sold. Um, I guess I'll pick the Warriors. How is the Swedish girl? Um, that was, um, that was like so last week. <laughs> It's crazy since I've been back in the Bay, since I've been back in Frisco, I've noticed that like, I'm like always by myself again, like always by myself. When I, I was watching a couple of the vlogs from New York and stuff, and I was thinking how I was always with people like all the time. And like today, like I've basically been by myself all, the, all day. And I hung out with one subscriber, but for the most part, like, I've been, like, by myself. Like, even at WeWork, it's, it's kind of weird. Like, I come to WeWork, but I'm usually here alone, you know? Like, I have one other friend that, that, that works here. But um, for the most part, I'm, like, just alone for the most part. That's why I'm trying to find out something to do tonight. So I'm probably going to go over to Hella Vegan Eats. Anybody familiar with Hella Vegan Eats over in Oakland? As soon as my booster board charges, I'm gonna go over there and um, go look for some vegan food, that sort of thing. I kinda was gonna go into, um, I kinda was gonna go to, um, like, go to the bar, but then I was thinking, I don't wanna drink because I got the booster board. The booster board is actually, it stopped me from drinking a lot because there's times where I could drink, but I'm like, I don't wanna drink because I wanna ride the booster board. Um, say a lot to everyone. Rename Uber Eats to Uber Chiefs. Cool thing. Uber Scam will be exposed soon. It could be. Warriors game. I mean, Warriors is getting the broom out tonight, maybe. Jason is on one. Jason is always on one, y'all. I just leave Jason in there so, like, my comments on YouTube can, like, skyrocket. That's the only reason why I don't kick Jason off. Are you planning on getting the iPhone 8? You know, I don't know. I just got the iPhone 7 like a month, uh, two months ago. So it's like, am I just gonna upgrade to like another freaking iPhone? Probably, I'll probably do it. Jermaine is lonely. I'm just lonely because I'm freaking in Frisco for some reason, like it's just, Y'all know how it is around here. I'm, I don't really get lonely because I distract myself with so much stuff to do. But then if I ever like sit around and like, you know, take a deep breath too long, for too long, I realize that, hey, like I'm, I'm bored. <laughs> but I'm probably gonna be going out of town pretty soon. Like it is freezing outside. Did you dip by Tesla? No, I watched Tesla dip, and I'm gonna see what happens Monday morning. I'm gonna see what happens Monday morning. I'm probably going to um, buy some more Tesla shares. I did sell off like all of my GoPro shares except for one, and I also sold off the Snapchat Snap shares. Um, I'm just gonna look and see if, I'm just gonna check Snapchat, check GoPro. Maybe I can buy those GoPro shares back at a cheaper price, but we'll see what happens to the markets on Monday. Hopefully, it, I don't know. Jermaine, there is always we in Pornhub. You must know me very, very well. Who is this, Ivan? <laughs> um, did you make any money this week? Of course I made money this week. Um, okay, oh gosh, you guys are tr a trip down here. I'm not weird as fuck. I'm actually pretty dang cool. I'm just in this weird town, that's all. 
Um, do a vlog on you going up a steep hill in SF. That's something I could do. That's something I could do. I need to go and hit up Lombard Street. Do you invest in Bitcoin or Ethereum? You know, I haven't invested in Bitcoin or Ethereum, but I've definitely been looking into it a whole lot lately. I heard Jermaine fucked his test rabbit clients. <laughs> Whatever. I got drunk a few times while delivering Postmates. Dude, I see people drinking all the time, like, doing on these jobs. Like, I saw one guy on a motorcycle one night. He was pounding a couple of beers. Started buying MDA, FB, Apple. All the stocks went down over 20, twice as much. Oh, yeah. I don't know about Tesla. Maybe I'll see. I'll have to see about what happens Monday. Yo, if you're watching this live stream right now, give your homeboy Jermaine a thumbs up if you want to see more live streams. If you don't want to see more live streams, don't give me a thumbs up and I just won't make many more live streams. That's just how we'll play the cards. But if you want me to keep making them, like, give your homeboy Jermaine a thumbs up and that'll let me know that I'm not just wasting my time. Because I could just go talk to this, like, this wall over here. No, I'm joking. I wouldn't want to talk to the wall. For sure. Hello from Denmark. Hope you're having a good... Yeah, I'm having a good night. I don't know how long this is going to be because... Yeah, I don't know how long this live stream is going to be. I kind of want to go get eat vegan food. But it's the type of spot where, like, I could go there and have a blast or I could go there and just not have a blast. So I'm just trying to figure out, do I, do I want to go? Because I don't want to just go there and, like, hang out by myself because that would be lame. But I also don't know anyone there, so maybe I'll just go because I really want the food. Why don't you just relocate to NYC? I don't know. NYC is like, that's a good question. It's definitely not lonely in NYC at all. Like, I could just walk down the street and talk to random people in NYC. I still just like it here for some reason. I don't know. I just still like it here. Like, I, I'm very familiar with the Bay and all that. Um, how, how would I know if delivery or ride? Oh, you mean on Uber Eats? It'll show up in the app. Like, it'll, it'll say, Excuse me. It'll say like Uber Eats or like Uber X or it'll show up before you accept it. Thinking of buying a boosted board. I love my boosted board. I don't want to tell people to buy them because I don't want to be that dude that's like, buy this, buy that. But it's really awesome. I love it. Vermont Street is steeper than Lombard Street. Vermont Street is actually pretty dang cool. Yeah, I'm gonna, I need to go check out Vermont Street. Jermaine, do a dab for us. No, I can't be doing no dabs for y'all. Gotta go, but remember me. It'll be one of your videos soon. All right, cool things. Rock on. Do a dab on my screen. <laughs> Why am I, like, yawning? I always yawn when I'm in live streams. Um, how does SF and Brooklyn compare? SF and Brooklyn. Let me think about that one. Brooklyn is... It's kind of hard to compare SF and Brooklyn. Um... I don't know. That's going to take me a long time to think. To think about. Um, I'm going to have to come back to that one. What time is it in SF? It is... 7.04, Jermaine, are buffalo cauliflower wings a good chicken, a good substitute to chicken? I think so. I think so. I love um, the cauliflower hot wings. But for some reason, I can't really find vegan wings around here in the Bay. Maybe if I, like, check on Yelp. But I've checked before, and I haven't been able to find any vegan hot wings. Let's see. Vegan hot wings. I want to look online really fast. Uh, vegan. Let's see. Don't know if I'm gonna find that here. I got so many tabs open on my computer. No. Unless hella vegan needs happen. But I don't think so. I'm skipping over um, 
Jason's question because it's ridiculous. Like, I mean, do you really expect me to answer this like ridiculous question? I mean, come on, guys, have some common sense. Um, meet any girls lately? Um, no, not since I've been back. Not since I've been back. I had. It was this girl I was talking to. We were in a very unusual relationship. Like, we were just friends with benefits for the most part. But it wasn't like we were, like, friends. It was like we were, like, friends with benefits for the most part. And since I've been back, I haven't talked to her. So I'm thinking, I'm guessing she, maybe she got a boyfriend or something. Because we were just, like, hooking up. Like, it was random, like, every once in a while. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe she's gone. Whatever. Fuck bitches, get money. <laughs> or do them both. <laughs> um, Jermaine, you really want to be alone? You can actually meet someone. You'll be eating all the free food. <laughs> Test drivers have so many locations along with deliveries. Why don't you go explore the U.S.? You know, I've thought about that. I've, that's really going to happen really soon. I just got to leave the bay. That's exactly what I gotta do. I'm dabbing in the window across the alley from you. <laughs> That's funny. Um, work uh, where you can find do a helium infused wine live. Interesting. Helium infused wine. That sounds crazy. Um, where is the vegan place? Oh, what the vegan place you with? The vegan place is, uh, I'm probably gonna go to Hella Vegan Eats. Okay, let's get rid of Jason. Um, Jason is acting really weird. I'm just like, his, re the, the, the comments are just getting out of hand. So let's put that fool in time out. All right, so you won't see Jason for a while. If you guys are excited that I got rid of Jason, give your homeboy Jermaine a thumbs up, so at least I can, you know, I can know that you guys want me to get rid of Jason. Um, the vegan place you and Alex went to, that vegan place was, um, I can't think of the name, but it's in the video. Um, would you ever move to New York? I'm probably gonna move to New York later in the year. Not necessarily move to New York, but, um, I would just probably go over in New York, go to New York and stay for a couple of months. How much do you aim to make a day? That number really fluctuates because, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I don't know if you guys know, but like I have other like streams of income coming in. So some days I really just don't aim to make a lot of money because I know that like you know, if I work on this project, if I work on this particular thing, this is gonna pay off in the long run, or this is gonna pay off over time. So it's kind of hard for me to think, okay, I need to go out and work, but I'm actually working, working on this right here, you know what I mean? And that's gonna make money for me. So it's a little, I don't know, it's a little bit different. Let's see, oh wow, everybody's glad I got rid of Jason. <laughs> I just uh, scroll down a little bit. Yeah, Jason was a trip. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye, Jason. Yeah, Jason is weirdo. And uh, you guys gave me all these comments after I got rid of Jason. What's the best? Uh, what's the best car you've ever rented? I don't know. I really don't. I don't really care about cars when I go rent cars. I just. I'm just like, yeah, give me whatever. Give me the one that's. That's this price, you know? So I don't really, I don't really, I don't really check. Tried to super chat, it didn't work. Oh, it didn't work? Bummer. Um, dude, gonna put something in. All right, okay, I'm not gonna read that one. Jason would be back under a different account. This is true. Jermaine, please do a collab with Paul Ye. He is cool. You know, maybe I will. Maybe I will do a collab. He lives in Portland or does he live in Seattle? Oh, my hat just fell off. Does he, does Paul live in Portland or Seattle? I think he lives in Portland. Maybe I'll just go back to Portland, but I was just in Portland recently. But I do have another excuse to go to Portland. I could go there and make a, make a couple of Booster Board videos for my Booster Board channel. 
So, maybe I will go. Portland was fun. It'll be a trip to drive back to Portland. I, I'm gonna have to like not go just to Portland. I'm gonna have to go to like Portland and Seattle. What's the weather like in Portland right now? Is it, yeah, what's the weather like in Portland? Is it raining? Cause when I was there, it was raining like crazy, man. It was raining like crazy. Um, Uber is cheaper to, um, Hertz is cheaper to rent. Yeah, that's true. Are you ever scared you're not going to make enough money to live since I'm done? Demands are so unreliable. Not exactly. Um, a lot of people think majority of my money I get for, is from the on-demand economy, and it's actually not. So, I mean, a lot of times in my videos, when I'm out vlogging, I'm, I'm vlogging a company. But a lot of times... I may not necessarily be working for like an app, like I'm working for someone who's hired me to do something for them. Like, you know, all sorts of gigs, like, like video editing gigs or like make a video or, or a lot of video work. So if the sharing economy went away, it would hurt me because I wouldn't be talking about it on the sharing on this channel. But I would still be doing other stuff because people know that like, oh, Jermaine can do this, Jermaine can do that. Like, I'll get hired from other things. But like I say, I preach diversification on this channel so much. And then people like still don't get it. Like, I'm very well diversified, very well diversified. That's one thing you got to do. If you put all your eggs in one basket... You got a problem. If you only have one source of like income going into your bank account every month, you got a problem, okay? You need to have multiple multiple income streams going to your bank account. I mean, even if they're small, like multiple ones, like multiple ones. So that's my two cents right there. Um, is your drone okay? I actually returned the drone. I actually returned it because I couldn't get it to connect. But it didn't really matter because it was raining at the wedding anyway. So I've already returned the drone. Now I have some crazy freaking Best Buy gift card. I'm going to wait on the new iPad to come out. I'm going to buy the iPad. And before the iPad comes out, I may just buy a Maverick. But I'll just have to see. I'll just have to see. Because I kind of want to just put more money in the stocks instead of freaking buy a freaking Maverick for a grand. And then... You know, buy another iPad for like another seven hundred dollars, and then you know I'm probably gonna take a trip. That's gonna be another, you know, maybe a thousand, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go to VidCon. That's gonna be a couple hundred. So like I don't know. I'm just thinking about what I'm gonna do. I'm just like burning through cash. For all you people that say Jermaine doesn't make money, like believe me, like I I make money. Like I do. I don't talk about how much money I make. Like. I'm not going to be that YouTuber that's like, oh, I made $2,700 this week. Like, believe me, like, if I make money, like, I'm not going to be, like, showing it off. Definitely not going to be showing it off. Oh, timeout. Um, hold on. Let's put you in timeout again, then. <laughs> yeah, anyway. I'm just talking and rambling. Um, did you survive the wedding? <laughs> I did survive the wedding. My feet were killing me after the wedding. Jermaine, do you have good credit? My credit has taken some bumps. I used to have like perfect credit up until, I don't know, about, <laughs> I think it was 2014 or something like that. 2000, yeah, it was 2014. I had perfect credit and I was so behind on like stuff. It was like like I was driving for Uber and I was paying two thousand dollars a month in rent and I was paying parking tickets and taxes and I was paying so much stuff that I said to myself, I said, Look, I know one way that I can make all this go away. <laughs> Solve all my money problems. Just don't pay anybody shit. <laughs> just don't pay any bills. <laughs> Car payments, credit cards, just don't pay nothing. <laughs> and then I bet I have money next month. 
And that's exactly what I did. <laughs> I just didn't pay shit. <laughs> I said, man, fuck these people, dude. <laughs> and then I went to Europe like a couple of days later and I was there for like three months. <laughs> Gosh. So bad. <laughs> so bad. I don't recommend anyone doing that, dude. <laughs> My, I, I freaking had a lawyer that told me to file bankruptcy. He was like, you should just do it, you should just do it. And I haven't did it yet because I'm like, do I actually have to? You know, if I continue to make more money on YouTube and I, I'm gonna have to because people are gonna be like coming after me, but for now, like, I don't really care. And I still have hella credit cards. Like, there's only one credit card in my wallet. There's only one card in my wallet. It's my Chase Freedom card. I use it for every single purchase. Like every single purchase. Like I don't have a debit card. If I get gas, it's credit. Like now when I mean it's credit, like I pay my credit card off like multiple times a week, you know, because I spend a lot of money. Like with Tax Rabbit earlier today, I spent like you know, $67 and then $80 and then I spent like $400 on some food at a at some restaurant. So like I spend money like crazy. Um, and I mean I still have a credit card, but I'm not gonna buy anything. Like I'm not like I was gonna buy a house, but I'm like, man, fuck that. Like I don't wanna buy a house. Like I'd rather just have stocks, you know? I'll get a I'll save money and maybe I'll just get a house like down the line. You know, I was gonna like do the first time buyers thing, you know, and like try to get a house in Oakland. And then that way I could Airbnb it, but it, it's so competitive. And then, you know, the farther east you go, the less you can make, like on Airbnbs and that sort of thing. That, I mean, people want to live in one particular area. So if you ain't got enough beans to cough up in that area, like, you might as well, like, invest in, like, Texas or something. Yeah, they can, but then I could just call a lawyer. This is very true. Um, let's see. <laughs> I'm just reading some of these comments. Funny. Best, <laughs> best financial advice. That's actually horrible financial advice. You know, believe it or not, like, I was really good with finances, like, up until I moved to the Bay. Like, my whole, like, I've had perfect credit, like, my whole life. But sometimes things happen, you know. I mean, that there's other, yeah, there's other things to this story, too. Um, I'm not paying for anything. <laughs> That's really bad to say that. Like, that's not setting a good example. Like, like I said, Jermaine, do you ever plan on settling down one day and having wife and kid thing, or do you want to be, or do you want kids and a wife? You know, I really don't plan on it. Like, I really don't plan on it unless I just meet the right girl who is like, I really don't plan on it, honestly. Like, I really don't because, it, it, I mean, it's hard, bro. Like, it's hard, like, living with someone and you have to, I mean, you know, I don't know, just like my ex-girlfriend, like, it was so many things I couldn't do. And it was only because she wanted me to be there with her, you know? And like, I don't want to put no female through that. Like, I would just rather be gone doing my own thing. like. Like, literally, my ex-girlfriend would just want me to, like, lay in bed and cuddle. And there was nothing wrong with that. Like, I love doing that. But at the same time, it's like, I can lay in bed and cuddle. Or I can be out doing something that can better other people, you know? Like, I don't know. I mean, I do, I definitely want, I definitely want to get married. Like, I think that would be a cool thing. But if I don't get married, that's totally, it's totally cool. Like, I really don't care. Like, I mean, I'm not the coolest person in the world. Like, I get that. Like, I'm probably not the most like coolest dude in the world either. I get that too. 
But I, I don't care. Life is awesome. I'm not even tripping right now. Credit, you don't need it. Rent cars, Airbnb. Use your girl's credit. Well, I definitely don't want to use my girl's credit. I don't even think my credit is that bad, actually. I haven't checked because I couldn't imagine it to be like, you know, roses. But, I mean, if I have a credit card and they haven't, like, lowered the balance, like, I still have, like, a $2,000 um, limit. And, I mean, before I had credit cards of, like, five and six and $7,000 limits. And I had, like... I had like 13 credit cards, but don't get me wrong, like all the credit cards were not used, but I only used like a couple. Young is what you have to be. Actually, it's a good thing if you're playing, if you're playing to wait out there for 10 years in Penn State. Um, Jermaine, your ex-girlfriend is not every woman. Oh, this is, this is totally true. This is totally true. I get it, my ex-girlfriend is not every woman, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't know, like, I'm just, like, I just got out of a relationship right now, so I'm probably not going to say the most, I don't know, I just got out of a crazy relationship right now. Yeah, I got out of a crazy relationship. So I'm not, I'm not even trying to do it. Um, already married, three alcoholics, like my mom, oh man, sorry to hear about that. Imagine Uber Eats delivering in an RV. That would be funny. Bruh, never move in with a chick only if you want to get married. This is very true. Jermaine, do you like our president? What president? Like, honestly, I can't even call, you know, Mr. Donald. I can't even call him by his last name because when you call someone by their last name, especially a president, that shows respect. And I, no, like, I, I think the guy is crazy, like, I really think the guy's crazy. And I really feel sorry for the United States. I'm so glad I live in California. That's one reason why I don't want to live in New York, because I feel in California, it's like, <laughs> you're just a little bit farther away from the American drama. You're still in America, but you know, it just feels like you're not in America as much. Um, Jermaine is a GM toe. He's a man going his own way. Yeah, maybe, yeah, something like that. I mean, my mom did, oh, okay, I get it. Three alcoholics just walked away. <laughs> 13 credit cards, yeah I, had, yeah, I had really good credit. But then you know how the whole credit game works? It's like, let's say you have available balance. Let's say you have like, let's say the bank gives you like a, a credit card for a thousand bucks and then you get another credit card for a couple thousand. Well, your overall credit, let's say you have a total of like 10,000. I think in my case, I, I don't know, I'm not gonna say, but let's say you had a total of 10,000 available credit. Well, as long as you had like 3,000, less than 3,000 in, um, in debt, you're okay. But let's say you had available 10,000 in credit and you ran your credit cards up to $5,000. Well, one way you can get back under that 30% rule is just go apply for more credit cards. And then let's say you get another credit card for 5,000, right? And then once you get a credit card for 5,000, you can, um, I mean, you would, it would, you, you would have that, you would be at the 30% mark again. Oh, did I, I think I pissed off someone. I'll be talking about Trump. Trump. Um, why do you think people in the U.S. are more dumb than elsewhere? <laughs> I don't think that they're more dumb. Um, I definitely don't think that they're more dumb. Like I don't know. Maybe that's the California. Maybe that's the the California um, cockiness coming out of me. Uh, super chat funds help out. Yes, they do help out. Yes, super chat funds help out. Uh, pop question: Who is prime minister of the United Kingdom? I have no idea who is prime minister of the United Kingdom. Just like I don't know who is the president of Egypt. I don't know the president of Spain. I don't know the president of China. I don't know the. I know president of Russia because it's mention all the time but a lot of presidents i just don't know the name of like 
I don't keep up with my presidents. Do you smoke marijuana? <laughs> I thought it was too, then I watched a few of his rows, then he changed my mind. I think he's hilarious. I mean, I honestly, I really haven't even watched much of what um, Mr. Donald has uh, done. I mean, I'm sure that he, I'm sure he's not the worst person in the world. It's also what the media is talking about him as. People in the U.S. not dumb, they're brilliant reality show. Yeah, I'm definitely not calling people in the U.S. dumb. Like, I don't mean to be like, yo, America is dumb. Everybody here is dumb. Like, I don't mean to be like that. Amazon Flex, he's the worst so far. What's the best non-religious book you've ever read? And what did you like about it? Non-religious book? Probably all of them have been non-religious books. I don't know, probably some book about investing. That's what, probably what I would say. You said you like to help people. Did you consider becoming a lawyer? No, I don't want to be a lawyer. That's like way too much, too much books if you ask me. Theresa May, oh, the Prime Minister of UK. Would you go on Survivor? I would, I think that would be pretty cool. What do you think of Platinum and Putin? I think, I don't know. I really don't know much about Putin other than what, what the media has told me about Putin. So if I would base my opinions off of that, it probably wouldn't be good because the media doesn't pre present, it does, they, the media doesn't present Russia in a good way. They present Russia in this way of, you know, Putin is a dictator and Russia is this big evil country. And, you know, like, I mean, what you see on TV is what you really know, you know? Otherwise, you go on YouTube and you see other people talk about videos, talking about, um, this, that, and everything else. Jermaine, what do you plan to retire? What age? I don't know what age I plan to retire. That's a good question. That's a good question. It really depends on where I figure out where I want to live is the probably the main thing is where, I, where do I want to live? Do I want to live in this country or do I want to live outside of this country? I think I want to live outside the country. Maybe I'll do that this year. I kind of don't want to do that in the summer because summer travel is a mess. Uh, you need to make a video about your vegan life, my vegan life. I think I can. Hey, y'all, do you work for the NSA? <laughs> don't trust the media, they are selling you. Yes, don't trust the media, he is pretty sure about it. Um, Jermaine, do you play video games? No, I don't play. What is your favorite video game? Metal Gear Solid. How long ago did you last play? That was a long time ago. That was like three, four years ago. Last time I played a video game. My Osmo is doing some really weird stuff right now. I feel like sitting over here. Um, let's see. I'm probably gonna be ending the stream pretty soon. I'm getting tired and I wanna go hit up that vegan spot. Wow, a lot of questions. Um, what would you see, do you blog on Survivor? If you couldn't vlog it? I don't know what I would do. I would have to like, those would be, those would be real vlogs because I'd literally be telling you about the experience and not showing you about the experience. Today's media is not corrupt, it's not as it used to be. I could imagine that it was probably worse back then. You should go to Australia or New Zealand next. It would be dope vlogs. Australia is the last continent that I haven't visited, except for Antarctica, but I don't include Antarctica. I'm retired. Oh, I didn't know you were retired at SpaceX. I didn't know you were vegan, but when you went to Southeast Asia, did you try eating any? No, I did not try to eating anything like that. Southeast Asia. Yeah, I was in Southeast Asia earlier this year. It was a lot of fun. Nobody retires from the sharing economy. Yeah, but I think, once again, you guys, um, young, you missed the point. Like, not all of my, um, not everything I do is the sharing economy. Like, maybe I'm just not even gonna, I'm just gonna play dumb for now. But like, not everything I do is from the sharing economy. Like, I was working on like videos earlier today for someone here at WeWork. Now, it's, that's not something I wanna talk about in every vlog, 
and that's not something I want to like talk about. But yeah, so when people say no one retires from the sharing economy, I don't know. I know Uber drivers that make pretty good money. Maybe they're not retiring, but if they could keep this up for a long time, or 10 years, they could possibly make a lot of money. Um, New York is the center of the... Yeah, New York is definitely the center of the known universe. <laughs> young, yeah, young is young. <laughs> Funny. You would be a good father someday. Why or why not? You must already have kids. I don't know. I just don't think I. I think I'm. I'm too much of a kid right now, and I'm not ready to take on responsibilities that I don't think there would be good responsibilities, which would be having kids. Like I don't think I'm ready for that. So if I don't think I'm ready for that, I think it's perfectly cool that I don't start something that I'm not ready for. Just like I haven't started like a brick and mortar business because I'm not ready for that. Maybe I'll never be ready for a brick and mortar business. And maybe I'll never do it. <laughs> um, we work till die making deliveries and dropping off passengers. Well, you just have to diversify. I mean, you have to diversify. Like, when I first started making videos on YouTube, I wasn't good at editing videos. But over time, I got really, really good at editing videos. And right now, that's something I do for work is I edit videos for other people. So if you, you know, if you are, if you're gonna work till you die delivering people and delivering packages, that's something that you don't have to necessarily, necessarily do. You could figure out some other skill and over time you could be better at that skill. I mean, like I say, when I first started making YouTube videos, I wasn't good at it. Like, people were not hiring me to, like, edit videos. But over time, like, I, something I got better and better at. Are you tipsy or high? <laughs> Neither one. Um, are you saving up for anything big, like a car, a house anytime soon? Um, definitely not a car. I don't plan on owning a car, like, ever again. And if I do, it's probably going to be a Tesla. But I don't plan on owning a car. Maybe saving up for a house. I'm basically just like saving money in general. Um, but yeah, go eat, go eat. Ooh, food sounds good. You're right about American media. It's fake news on Russia. I lived in the US for eight years thinking of going back home after all this crap. Yeah, there is a whole bunch of stuff in, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. Do you have your own office at WeWork? Do you have a hot desk? Um, hey bro, just got hired for Grubhub. Not yet started. Yeah, you gotta check it out. Um, rest well, everything. Rest well. Do I need to sleep? I guess I do need to sleep. Hey bro, are you ever gonna visit Vietnam? Maybe I'll go to Vietnam the next time I'm back in Southeast Asia. But one problem I've run into is like if I go back to Southeast Asia now, that's gonna be my third time going to Southeast Asia. That's gonna be kind of weird. Like I kind of want to go back to Korea, but I think but if I go back to Korea, it's literally gonna be my third time in Korea. So it's like, dude, I can't keep going back to the same places. But one thing about Korea and Thailand is they're kind of like gateway places to go to other places around the whole area. So, yeah, I was thinking about that. Um, It's going to get a booster board for my birthday. Oh, booster board's going to be so awesome. You ever work for Instacart? I worked for Instacart a while ago. It was like two years ago. Hey, Jermaine, you ever thought of starting your own business? I'm actually working on something like that right now in the background that I'm not really going to talk about. Um, what happened to your Robin Hood video? Oh, my booster board is done charging and it's got to pop up. My Robin Hood video, I was going to do a Robin Hood video, but then I kind of got distracted with some other stuff buy a house and turn it into an Airbnb hostel. I was thinking about that, but there's a lot of competition like doing that right now. And then there's some funny laws too that are um, behind that. If you had to live permanently, permanently outside, you wanted to work because she was in. 
If you had to live permanently outside of the U.S., which country would you choose and why? Maybe like Thailand or the Philippines, just because of the weather. Do you do your own taxes? No, I hire someone to do my own taxes. How old are you? I'm old as dirt. I'm 30. Yeah, I'm old. Warriors might lose tonight. No party in Oakland. Oh, no big deal. Um, if I say falafel, will, will Young disappear? I don't know, maybe. Question about uh, Hertz Rental. What happens if the driver does not have enough credit to cover the final bill in the rental? Okay, so what will happen is it, it'll bill the card anyway, and you will just have a very large, like let's say you have like a $3,000 limit, and then the bill is like 1000 they will, it'll go over your limit, basically. So you will owe your bank like the extra $1,000 or so. Uh, Adobe Premiere. No, I don't use Adobe Premiere. I use Final Cut. The reason why I don't use Adobe Premiere is the rendering process on Adobe Premiere takes so freaking long. Like, you're going to need like a supercomputer. And I use this little, this cheap Apple computer. Like, this is the cheapest MacBook you can get. And I pump out 4K videos every day. Like, when was the last time you seen me upload a video and it was not 4K? Yeah, so if I was running Adobe Premiere on this computer, I would not be pumping out 4K videos. It would take so long. Like there's so many other YouTubers that, that use Adobe Premiere and it's because Adobe will pay you to freaking use their software. Like if you have X amount of subscribers and they'll also pay you to, well not necessarily pay you to use it, but they have ways of getting like people to use it. But honestly, I think it, it it's, it, I like Final Cut better. Like, I'm not gonna switch over to Adobe. I was thinking about switching over to it, but no, I'm not gonna do it. Like, it it just takes too freaking long, man. It's just, yeah, and it takes up hella. Final Cut takes up a lot of space on your computer too. But I figured out a way to like make the make the files like, I mean, freaking iMovie size on Final Cut. So I don't even trip about the space anymore. But before, like. I would do a five minute, I would do a 10 minute vlog and it would be six gigs. Now a 10 minute vlog is like two and a half gigs. Basically the same that it would be on Final Cut. Um, not exactly answering all the questions. 30 is not old, I'm 34. I feel old. If you had a superpower what would it be? If it had be a superpower, it would be to... It would be to get rid of money. That's what it would be. If I had a superpower, it would be to get rid of money. Like, no one would have any more money. <laughs> and then, if people aren't working for money, they're going to be working for other stuff. But they wouldn't be working for money. I think that money, like, it divides people, and it makes people... It, it creates, like, slave slavery, sort of, because now you have people working only for money, only so they can buy stuff. And I just think that that is kind of messed up. Or you have people that just have so much money they can never, ever, ever spend it their whole life. But then you also have people like starving that live across the street from one another, you know what I mean? Like, I would say to get rid of money. But that's like a whole another thing. If they shut your Uber account off, it's connected to, I'm about to buy, and but about your credit card, they will charge it. That's true. They will charge your credit card. You look like you're 19. I def I know. I want to look like I'm 19. Um, would you buy a... They live in a tiny house. Oh, I would love to live in a tiny house. Um, maybe that could be a project I could do within the next year. Like, I could buy a tiny house and, like, live in it. And that could be my... That could be my YouTube channel, me building and living in a tiny house. That would be really cool. But that would be me living out of the city, and I love living in the city. I love the life in the city. What happened to your ex, Vanessa? I don't know. She's living down in Central America right now. It's a really good question. What happened to her? Um, it's a really good question. I wonder what happened to her. We haven't talked in quite some time. And... Yeah, I actually messaged her recently, and she never responded back. I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of curious what happened to her.
I'm sure she's still around. Jason, you need to chill with side effects of Pornhub. <laughs> I never have those side effects from Pornhub. <laughs> hey, son, if you rent a card that builds a thousand, I only have 300 available on my credit card. With the options going to negative, I don't think that's possible. Huh. In that case, you should use a debit card. Um, Jermaine, do you miss Vanessa? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think I miss Vanessa. Look, I'm really weird, like, when it comes to relationships. I think I could possibly be one of those persons that could just be alone and just be totally fine. Like, I really think so. Like, I really think so. Like, I could just be alone, which is... That's, maybe I'm just saying that because I just got out of a bad relationship, but I don't know. Like, I'm chill. Like, I just wake up every day and do me, you know? That would really get boring. Like, I want to be with someone, but, like, I don't know. I'm talking to a live stream, so... Maybe that's what I should do. I should just go travel and meet someone when I'm traveling because it is so hard for me to meet someone here in the city like it is so hard like the females i meet are like lame like lame girls and then everyone else i meet like they sort of look down on me because number one like i'm not flashy so like i, I don't like show off and then number two like i don't really have anything to show off like i don't have a job or like I just have social media, and I don't even talk about that when I meet when I'm talking to females. Like that's the last thing I talk about is like this YouTube thing. If you go back to Asia, Asia, you should visit India. I should visit, visit India. Enterprise, you can rent a car, no credit check, just like three fifty deposit via no credit card. Yeah, that's true. For Uber, for Uber, of course. Females are gold diggers. Females are hella gold diggers, bro. Especially in the city. I feel like it's... I feel in the city, like, it, it's a little bit more... It's a little bit worse in the city. Like, when I was back home, I noticed that, like, maybe females aren't go digging so much. Yeah, that's true. Just smash. This nigga sounds gay. No, you sound gay, William. I'm just being 100, like... I'm just being 100, bro. Um, taco. It's easier to get the females. Yeah, that's true. I don't even care anymore. I'm just tripping. I'll probably just meet someone and just be hella cool. But right now, I'm just trying to meet someone who is an entrepreneur, bro. Like, I ain't trying to meet some girl with a damn job, bro. Because, I don't know. Like, I ain't trying to meet a girl with a job. Bro, did you smash and wake up with a rash? Um, where did you eat your first falafel? I don't know where I ate my first falafel. Dude, send me some Uber money. You send me some Uber money, Jermaine is... I don't know what that means. What happened to your cat you had? Vanessa, we gave it to this lady who collects cats. She lives in like Marin County. I don't know. It's really sad. Jermaine, when you were over in Thailand, did the women charge you or give you happy endings? Uh, you just get like a happy ending for like $10 or something. Yo. Fucking question. Dang, what's wrong with men enjoying women's panties? I don't know. There's, I guess there's nothing wrong with it if you're not rocking women's panties. Bro, being alone, bro, being alone and being lonely are two different things. Trust me, some tricks are out there. That's what they want to play with you. I know, dude. Hello, girls are trying to play. Hello, girls are trying to play. But right now, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait, bro. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna chill out. Like maybe, maybe I'll go smash a little bit. But like, I, I I'm not trying to be in a relationship. I feel I got hella. When I when I dated Vanessa, like we we kind of started dating pretty fast, but I don't think I want to do it that way anymore. I think I want to take my time because I'm getting older, and yeah, dude, I feel girls are hella gold diggers around here. Like, 
kinda. Maybe that's just me. Like, what do you guys think? Like, females always want, like, a lot of shit, bro. But I have been saving hella money since I ain't with Vanessa. That's one thing I can say. I thought I was the only dude who, like, working girls, man, you actually want to take care of women. Whatever happened to housewives, what's wrong with that? Well, okay, one reason, so young, I don't know, I don't know if you live in California or if you live in Texas or somewhere. I don't know very many women around here that are like housewives, unless you got like money, bro, living in the city, or unless your family is from the city. Like most people, like most young people, like they work, like both of them. That's just how it is. Don't listen to these guys. Don't listen to these guys smashing everything on this site. It's dangerous and overrated. But I'm also younger too, bro. I mean, I'm also older. When I was like 20 years old, 21, 23, 24, I was smashing like crazy. But nowadays, um, I don't really care as much. A lot of guys on here are weird too, yeah. Um, which, would you fuck older, older bitches for money? It's crazy because like, I've actually dated, maybe that's why I'm not, maybe that's why I'm single right now. That's probably why I'm single is because I'm trying to talk to girls my age. Dude, that's it. That's why I'm not finding anyone. I'm always the type of dude that talks to older girls, like, all the time. Like, every girl I've dated except for, like, like one female have been older than me. Like, they've all been older than me. And maybe that's my deal, because I haven't been talking to anyone older than me. Like, I've only been trying to talk to girls my age. And girls my age definitely don't want to talk to me for some reason. Or girls that want to talk to, like, girls that are, um, like, 21 years old. Now, there's nothing wrong with a 21-year-old girl, like, at all. Except they're kind of young, you know? They're really good for smashing, but, like... Do I really just want to hang out with a 21 year old girl? Kinda. Kinda. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. That would be cool. But maybe I should, and I'm older girls, for sure. I've definitely dated way more older girls. I think I need to look for an older chick. And annoying and shit. Older, older women do get a little annoying. Yeah, older emotional women. Yeah, dude, older women are like that. They can be definitely emotional. I mean, they can be um, economically stable for sure. Gold diggers, myths, myths. Well, I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna freaking. What do you mean? I don't know. Never mind. Cool. No, one ever thought about pimping? Uh, I don't know. I, I I can't be a pimp. What am I gonna do? Pimp some hoes? Pimp some hoes. I can't be doing that, yo. But anyway, I think I'm about to get ready in this live stream because this joint has been going on. My booster boy is all charged up. I'm about to go get some vegan food and hang out by myself, but maybe I'll meet some cool vegan chicks. Mm. Yeah, this hopefully this vegan spot's open. I, I checked on Yelp, but Yelp can be a little iffy sometimes. There's no such thing as an emotional, stable woman. Jermaine is empty inside. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm full of love. Jermaine, you should create websites for money. I should. That's what I'm going to do. See, if I leave the U.S., that's, that's everything I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing everything on the Internet, and that's probably what's going to happen pretty soon. I'm probably going to be leaving the U.S. and making money on the Internet. That's what I think. But until then... Homeboy Jermaine will be in here. We'll be right here in this city. San Francisco. I like never show outside the window, but I don't think you guys will be able to tell where I am. But anyway, yo, thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace out. Yo, hit that like button. Hit that like button right now. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. Hit that, like button. Hit that I don't want to join ISIS. No, 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 I'm cool. Hit that like button. Thanks a lot. Peace out, yo.